hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 29th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about sql joins now those of you who've heard uh, things about joins like you know joins are really difficult and you know it's impossible to master joins and all those things um, you know i guess you would have to put all those things at the back of your mind for this tutorial because joins are extremely simple but very powerful and uh, you know at some point of time in your life if you want to make a career as a database administrator then you would have to learn joins and also use them extensively right now I worked for uh, an MNC uh, for five months as a database administrator and uh, all I did every day was just use SQL joins and pull out stuff from tables right so the reason why SQL joins are uh, popular and so powerful is that uh, joins allow you to pull information out from more than one table right so for the sake of this tutorial, I have created another table and uh, I've given that table the name tutorial underscore info. So we've seen the tutorial table in uh, you know the previous tutorials and let me show you guys the data that I have in that table. So for that, I'll use the select query. I'll type in select space uh, star since I want to see data in all rows uh, and from and then the name of the table which is tutorial. Put in a semicolon at the end when I press control enter. I see that this table has got ID field and title field, subject field, duration and upload underscore date. So in ID, I have got a unique number for all the rows in the table and the title field holds the title of uh, the tutorials and subject field uh, holds the names of the playlist. So I've got SQL, C and shell scripting and then duration holds the length of the tutorials in minutes and then upload underscore date field holds the date on which the tutorial was uploaded, right? So this is the tutorial table and I have created another table in this one's tutorial underscore info and this holds information about you know the number of views for each tutorial the number of likes each tutorial has and dislikes and shares and uh, you can see that I have a column in this table which is tutorial underscore ID and it holds a uh, similar information as the ID column held for the tutorial table right so it also has a you know unique number for each row and well this row actually corresponds to you know the first row of the tutorial table right so all all this data that you see you know 15000 views and 54 likes and 13 dislikes and six shares this data is for the first tutorial or the tutorial with id 1 in the tutorial table now let's say you want to see all this information as well as some information from the tutorial table in a single uh, result set and you want to pull all that information out uh, you know through a single sql query well how are you going to do that because till now all the select queries that we've seen in this uh, course all those queries have just pulled out information from one table but here we want to see you know views likes and shares uh, from this table and we want to see title duration and subject maybe from the tutorial table so you know if you want to do such things then you have to use sql joins and uh, the way you're going to do that is you'll have to use the select query of course and uh, you'll first type in the columns that you want so let's say I'm going to refer to the tutorial table as T right and we're just going to use aliasing and if you don't know what that is then I would suggest you to watch the previous tutorial in this course in which we talked about the as clause but uh, I'll just type in T dot and then the name of uh, the column that I want from the tutorial table so I want ID from the tutorial table and then I want uh, let's say title and then I also want uh, duration okay and then on the next line I'll type in the columns that I want from the tutorial underscore info table and I'm going to refer to the tutorial underscore info table as ti so I'll type in ti dot views and then uh, ti dot likes and then ti dot shares and uh, I guess that's that's good enough and then I'll type in from on the next line and then I'll type in tutorial right and since I have referred to the table tutorial as T in the query thus far I'll have to instruct SQL that I have done that and for that I'll use the as clause and I'll type in T here and then on the next line I'll type in the keyword join right and this is going to instruct SQL that well all this you know information that we are looking for this is not present in just the tutorial table but it's present in another table and the name of that table is tutorial 
underscore info and since I've referred to this table as TI I'll type in as space TI here and then on the next line I'll type in another keyword and this one is on and what this keyword is going to do is it's going to tell SQL that you know this join operation has to be performed on some condition and that condition is that we want you know data from both the tables for those rows for which the value in the ID column uh, in the tutorial table is the same as the value in the tutorial underscore ID column of the tutorial underscore info table right so it may sound complicated but if you just think about it then it'll all make a lot of sense so the way I'm going to write this condition is I'll type in t dot ID and you know it should equal ti dot tutorial underscore ID right I'll put a semicolon at the end and when I press control enter I see that I get a result set in which all this information is present right so I have the ID column and then title duration views likes and shares and now I can see the number of views for the select query tutorial number of likes for it number of likes for the insert query table without having to execute the select query for both tables uh, separately right so this is about SQL joins and there's another way in which you can perform the join operation and that's actually the more used way and also the less preferred way and you know this is this is the right method actually and you know this is uh, the method that you would see you know professors teaching in universities and you know th the method discussed in textbooks but the more used way of performing SQL uh, joins is you, you remove the join keyword from your query you just have uh, your table name so tutorial as T then you put a comma and then you type in the second table name tutorial underscore info as ti and then on the next line on the next line you type in where right so you type in the where clause and then uh, the condition so that would be t dot id equals ti dot tutorial underscore id i'll put a semicolon and when I execute the query, I see that I get the same result set. There's nothing different in this. And uh, you may think that this query is the same as the previous query, but actually they're very different. But uh, you know, you can you can actually learn through any way. But it would be great if you you know practice the previous query more and you master that more because you know that is the recommended way of performing the join operation right so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you soon